I got the Astrolux FTO3 in front of me here, aka Batamenko MT35 Mini. Pretty neat. They come like that from Banggood. They're basically the exact same light, of course. And Banggood did send me this to do some testing on it. I have done it, and I am very impressed with this little flashlight. It's not real little, but it's not big for how far it throws. And what I want to do real quick is cover the specs first. Look at the reflector on this thing. This is running the SST 40W emitter, which is a very small emitter. It gives you a real tight focused beam, even with a moderate sized head like this. This one's 6500K for the bin on the emitter. Highest setting, 2400 lumens, and they rated at 875 meters of throw, but I did get over a thousand. All right, for starters, we're going to go up against my Lux meter at four meters away and test this FTO3 Astrolux out, uh, calculate the throw, see if we can get up close to 900 meters like it says. Check it out. All right, that was 17,520 times that by four meter square, which is 16, and then divide that by the brightness of the moon. We're gonna come up with that number. Now we're gonna take the square root of that. One, one, two, one, two, eight, zero. Jesus Christ, that put me over a thousand meters of throw. That thing really is punching out there. Pretty awesome. Definitely did that. And this has the Narsal M firmware. Out of the factory, it's set on ramping mode where if you turn it on, you press it, infinite ramping, there's the lowest mode. You just hold the button, go up, down, double click, right in a turbo. Look at that guy. This thing is bright. Uh, does come with a battery. I'll provide the link down below for the actual light. When you get it, you will be getting a very... Uh, Pretty close to a 5,000 milliamp battery. This is 26650. Very high quality battery. Look at that tail cap on this thing. Got a lot of copper in there. You know, I've never taken this off. Looks like somebody could mod this real easy if they wanted. And one thing with it, uh, the green light's always on, and I love that. Just, I don't know why I like that in flashlights. You can shut it off. As far as modes or features, now if you were to triple click it, Two, three volts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three point nine volts. But that's how you can tell it almost exactly how much juice you got left if you triple click it. Now, if you're to double click it again, this is going to tell you the temperature of the driver. So I'm not sure why that's on seven. Now, if I were to turn it on, we're going to leave it on a second. All right, let's see what happens. Fourteen degrees Celsius. Now, if you were to uh, click it four times, you go in your lockout mode, so it will not turn on. So, like I said, awesome UI on this thing. It does come with a sleeve to run an 18650 and a lanyard in the box. And as far as charging, very fast charge on this thing. It's a USB, USB C. And it doesn't come with the chart uh, cable, but they're very readily available. It's an awesome light. We're going to go outside and check it out and see how the beam shots are. All right, it's windy out, and we got the sun getting ready to come up. I'm going to take this Astrolux, and we're going to shine it at that tree at 62 meters away. And I will be on turbo. i got to hurry up. It is like bitter cold out. It's actually below zero. And if you notice there, even with the background with the sun coming up, this thing has got quite the punch. We're going to move down to a tree 94 meters away. Hard to, hard to believe this light for this price, just how far it, it shows. And upwards of 190 Put a quick scoot over there. That's over a couple hundred meters. There's a deer up in that field. And you can see it easy. Up into that woods. Two hundred and forty plus meters. 
go back there's another deer way up there two of them I'd say that's pushing 300 meters right there them deer must get cold they have to at over 500 meters down there it's lighting them trees up. That's pushing right around five. The pines way down there. And this thing just keeps right on shining. Now if we were to go to different modes, lowest mode, ramp up. That's high. Incredibly long battery life. Double click, you go into turbo. Back to high. Ramp way down. Unreal, ain't it? I gotta move over out of the wind. Alright, I got my truck headlights on high. These are halogen ones. I just replaced them not too long ago, so they are quite bright. And that's that Astrolux against car headlights. Or full size Chevy. 55 watt each bulb headlight. Look at that. Astrolux, the car headlights. Truck headlights. Astrolux, truck headlights. Impressive, isn't it? Run it down. That even probably half throttle there. That's high. The turbo. Neat. My camera's gonna freeze here. I gotta hurry up. But I'm gonna walk down the road and shine this back. The sun is literally almost coming up. I got my truck running with the headlights on. I'll shine the light back at it and then we're done. I am freezing. Seven below. I'm going in. So there you are. The FTO3 by Astrolux. This is an incredibly awesome compact thrower. Really like this light. Go ahead and check that link out down below for this Astrolux bag goods. They got a wealth of other Astrolux on there. I'm gonna try to get a hold of a bunch of them and review more of them. But I'm impressed with this. I think uh, it's the second one. I had the MFO4. The big giant thrower, which was a wicked light in itself, but it's humongous. Really like this, the size. So there you go, the Astrolux FTO3. Check it out. Till next time.